Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Welcome to my creative cooking channel, Indu Dubai Fafa. My name is Fafa Gilbert and I'm the chef behind Indu Dubai Fafa. Thank you again for joining me. And if this is your first time, you are welcome. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you do like this video. And also don't hesitate to share, leave a comment. If you do try the recipe as well, I'd love your feedback. Now let's start cooking. Today I'll be making my own butter. Yes, you heard me right. And it might sound like complicated, but it's one of the easiest thing you'd ever do. Um, of course, I've added my own little skirmishes to it. Of course, I can't just leave it alone. I have to add my even the language is not even coming. Anyway, let's start. So here I've actually got some double cream that I've actually just placed in my kitchen aid mixer. That's all you need. This process is one of the simplest way to actually make your own butter. Now you definitely do need the double cream um, because it has a higher fat content and that's how you'll be able to extract the butter um, from it. If you use a single cream, it's not gonna be the same. So you definitely do need your double cream. Alternatively, you can place your double cream in a mason jar or a jar with a lid and shake it till it becomes butter. Now the butter process means that the fat would separate from the water and this is incredible. So it's just like you're making whipping cream. Um, you know, you get to that fluffy level, but you push it further. And once you push it further, that's how you make your butter. And this is exactly what you're gonna be seeing happening here. You are going to see the double cream actually thickening up as it just keeps churning. And this is how we're going to form our butter. It's so simple, so easy. Look at that, it's thickening as you can see now. Now as it's thickening and at this stage, I'm going to add my salt. Now this is optional because if you don't want a salty butter, you don't need to add it. And you can also add the salt when you've actually churned the butter um, later. But I prefer to do this way so that it's incorporated, it's in there, it's in every little butter. This whole process takes about three minutes. So two minutes into actually churning your butter, what I then do is look for ice cold water. So I get cold water and I put a few ice cubes in there and I will add a little bit into the butter. This would allow the fat to also form, I mean, you know, it's optional, but also what it does is it actually extracts, or so it takes a lot of the buttermilk away out of the butter so that the butter can last longer. So at this stage, you can see this is like it's all creamy and fluffy. Now this is great for baking at this point, actually, you know, if you want to bake a cake, you can actually just use that to bake your cake, which will be just yum, 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 yum. But I'm going to churn this much further. You see, remember when I did say that you take it to that whipping cream consistency, but you go over it. Yes, we're going over now. Now, this is where you've got to be very careful. The last minutes, because you can see it's separating and immediately it starts separating. It's just like, it's just like a one minute wonder. It just happens. And all of a sudden you'd find out the buttermilk splashing everywhere. So you've got to be mindful. I mean, I try <laughs> hopelessly, <laughs> as you can see, I tried, I tried, but you have to be mindful. And this is it. Avecle, but that is done. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, but this is it. That easy, absolutely easy. You see, so now I'm happy. Now what I'm gonna do is just transfer this into a bowl and I'm gonna add some more cold water and just to extract the buttermilk from it so that the butter can last longer. It's so easy to make and you have to make this because you know, you're guaranteed you have, it has no preservatives, nothing, you know. So you're eating exactly what you've made and you know, it's rewarding. Uh, you know, it's a good thing to do. So I'm just adding the cold water here now and with your clean hands, you know, you're mashing as if you're mashing bangu, really. <laughs> just mash and you can just see that, um, you can see the water that I've even put in, you can see the milk coming out. You can just see that. Now I will reserve this buttermilk. I will use it in um, roasting maybe some chicken or doing some marinades or baking, you know, the loads of 
you know recipes that one can use um, buttermilk for but I just want to be sure that it doesn't have any milk buttermilk left in there and I think yeah that looks good what do you think you tempted to try this <laughs> So clearly there is an advantage for making your own butter because you end up with your buttermilk and you also end up with your butter. How easy is that? So I'm going to reserve this in the fridge and I most certainly will use it for a recipe soon. Mm -hmm. Now bear in mind that you do need to extract the buttermilk from the butter if you want your butter to last. That is important. If not, it will go off quite quickly. Um, so you need to follow this process and, you know, just get rid of the water. I'm um, sorry, get rid of the buttermilk as much as you can. So now you can store your butter in a container with a lid and place in the fridge and use it just as you would normally. Now that I've actually made the butter, I'm actually going to give a neighbor of mine one, um, just a little bit of the butter because I love knocking on the door and going like, hey yo, I've got fresh butter, churned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come for your fresh butter. I made some fresh butter today. This is yours. Take it. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be making my own skirmishes again. So you see, I'm dividing it, you know. And I've also got some tea bread in the oven as we speak as well. That is actually a recipe that I'm going to bring up. So I've got my own butter, my own tea bread. And, I, and then I made some omelette. Chibum, Charlie. I wasn't playing today. No, I didn't play at all. No, 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 no. So yeah. So all I've just done is just um, place the butter in cling film. And I'm just shaping it. And this is the easiest way that I find in doing so. So, you know, it's almost like a sausage form. I'm just giving it that whole roundness. And yeah, just rolling rolling <laughs> and at this point you know you can be creative use any herbs that you prefer if you've got rosemary thyme i had oregano in the garden so i actually chose to use some fresh oregano and also the flowers and i thought it just looked so pretty you know and yeah because of course i want to give it to my neighbor and um you know she's been great she's been great over the year so why not give her a treat? It is a nice thing for someone to knock on your door and just say, knock, knock, fresh butter in the house. Of course, I'm not going to say that, but you know. <laughs> I hope you've actually enjoyed this episode and you are inspired to try the recipe. If you are, please don't forget to subscribe. Do show me some love, leave some comments, likes, um, and also do share it with your family and friends um, because I want the channel to grow and I would like you to help me grow. I think that looks pretty enough. Absolutely. Now, you know, be inspired to actually infuse your butter with flavors that you prefer. Here I'm actually using pink peppercorns. You can use your green peppercorns, your black peppercorns if you wish. Um, you know, garlic, which yes, that's actually going to be incredible, um, especially if you want to make a garlic bread. It's just perfect to actually just mash your garlic and just mix it with this. That's just going to be yum, yum, yum. Yay. Then you chop some parsley and stuff. Oh gosh. I'm talking about food again. Yes, I'm always talking about food. Okay. Anyway, I hope you've actually enjoyed this episode. And if you have, please do not forget to click that subscribe button. Please don't forget to share the video, comment, um, and try the recipe and let me know how it turns out. And find more inspiring recipes on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com as well as fafagilbert.com. The link will be in the description box. Now I'm also on Instagram, Facebook and on Twitter as indudubaifafa. And I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have today. Until next time, thank you for watching.